Let's open up and tour a 2021 Grand Design Momentum 376 THS fifth wheel toy hauler. What's up everybody? This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter. And too often than not, I see videos online where RVs are opened up and everybody's showing off the cool features and stuff on them, but they never really show what it looks like when it's all closed up. How easily accessible is the inside? If I had to pull over on the side of the road and use the restroom or wash my hands or just simply be able to catch some Z's, how fast does it open up and how practical is it on the side of the road? That's what we are going to accomplish today with one hand because the other hand is holding the camera. So bear with me. I already have the main compartments that require two hands uh, opened up. And so we will go through this, explain some of the cool highlights and features on this RV. And if you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call, 870-471-9471, uh, or check us out online, three locations, uh, Arkansas and Missouri, at www.rvs2buy.com. Enough of my chatter, let's go ahead and get into this. You got a fully molded fiberglass front cap, guys. This is really cool. It's a nice aggressive look on here. This is a uh, really, really awesome on the Momentum Toy Haulers. LED uh, running lights on the top and on the bottom. They hook you up with this Morai rubber pin box. This comes in extremely handy. It helps prevent chucking on the highway. I love that. This is a very nice setup on this uh, fifth wheel. Six point hydraulic auto level. This thing has five slides, slide toppers big awnings, cooking station outside. Oh my gosh, it is just totally loaded out. You've got a nice section of here, under here to be able to add a generator if you guys wanted to. Um, you got a section right here down to uh, where your batteries are uh, for your hydraulic fluid. This is for your running lights on here. Of course, uh, fiberglass uh, sidewalls. This is an aluminum substructure. Uh, True Four Seasons heated and enclosed underbelly. Uh, Grand Design does a fantastic job at creating Four Seasons campers. Uh, and then of course, with all the additional stuff that they offer into here, this is definitely one of the top sellers uh, in the industry. 30 pound propane tanks on both sides that we put, fill uh, upon your purchase as well as provide you with a battery. You got a nice amount of pass-through storage in here. Of course, this, uh, you can see the aluminum substructure and you also have uh, on, off and motion sensor LED lighting. You have a nice convenient battery disconnect. You've got tire pressure monitor sensors um, pre-wire, so you guys can be able to add that if you wanted to. I love this. It's got the road vac by intervac system. You can be able to hook up the attachments with the hose, be able to vacuum out here, vacuum on the inside. Very awesome. On the inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors. Sweet. Frameless glass windows. You have an 18 foot full span awning on the uh, side and then an additional 10 foot awning going over the outdoor kitchenette area. Very cool. Once again, this is the 376 THS WeatherTech Arctic Four Seasons Protection. You have a nice setup, guys. This is really cool. Upgraded Cooper H-rated tires with 17.5 aluminum rims, triple axle, Cree 3000 suspension, Dexter axle. That is a really nice setup. And with those Cooper Work Series H-rated tires, definitely can be able to take a nice long road trip and have a nice good quality tire on those roads. Very cool, very cool. Um, you have a quick port right here for an outdoor spray port. You guys can rinse the kids off, rinse the dogs off, rinse your upgraded zero gravity entry steps uh, by Moride off, which we'll get into when we open it up. You have a 110 power source under here as well. More uh, pass-through storage under here, LED tap lights, additional storage, Rockford Fosgate sound system, uh, TCL flat screen TV with the Roku settings. If you guys go to the campground, you have a hot spot, you guys can be able to watch your Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that stuff on slam latch baggage doors. So awesome. Elite series griddle by Suburban. Flip this around right here. Just simply be able to uh, season that. And then you guys can be able to rock and roll, be able to cook you some nice pancakes and bacon and eggs and stuff in the morning. You got a nice little refrigerator right here as well. An additional storage up here. Uh, as well. Very cool too. Um, this is actually powder coat and it's called poly silver vein. If you guys didn't know that, it's very durable. It's uh, long lasting. It's extremely uh, uh, rugged to be able to handle the outside weather. And then of course they have this nice little table set up right here, as you can see with the strut assisted on the bottom. So you can have a nice little prep station right there. Awesome. This is the back section of the toy hauler. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this up. But uh, I think what I'll do first is I'll get on the roof. I'm gonna try and get on the roof with one hand. So 
Uh, bear with me if I fall. This is unedited. A lot of my videos are usually edited, so if I do fall, I'll just go ahead and post it anyways. <laughs> but you do uh, have LED running lights on the top and the bottom and on the side. You have pre-wired for your Furion backup camera. You've got a nice little window to be able to look out of from where your queen-size mattress sits. And then here in a second, when I get off the ladder, we will uh, open this up. So to simply open this, all you got to do is just simply take these pins, pull these out. This will fold down, take the pins, put it in here, like so like that and then you can get up onto the roof one-handed i'm alive still doing it still doing it okay onto the roof okay you got three ac upgrade on here this is a really nice setup uh, currently we have one of them running you have max air vent fans as well you have nice ventilation system you're pre-wired for solar you got a wine guard air 360 omnidirectional uh, uh, antenna on there so that comes in really handy you don't have to worry about that little bat wing thing you have to spin around and stuff because it makes it that much easier to find channels and I didn't fall <laughs> let's open up this back section of the toy hauler simply pull this down open it up like so bring this back one-handed and very gently set it down like so of course, looking into the back of here, it's a nice little setup. You guys can fit some motorcycles in here, fit a four-wheeler. You could probably do a low-profile, uh, you know, golf cart, things like that. And then they hook you up with two zero-gravity um, um, lounge chairs. That's pretty sweet. Of course, I kind of opened it up to kind of pull it out. It had already been, you know, semi-opened, but I wanted you guys to be able to see. It's got two of them in there, and those are very comfortable. I usually put a little description in there as far as the... Uh, though how it sets up or what it looks like but this is unedited um, you've got two bar stools for the um, inside kitchen area and then the bed portion this will raise up and out of the way um, the dimensions on this back garage are it's 63 inches wide 117 inches deep and it currently is at 66 inches high but then you can press the little up button right here and raise that up but we want to make sure our slides are open first before we open that which it'll still uh, be able to open up but you want to open that up and then that will bed will raise and you can be able to put um, something that's a little bit taller in there so very cool let's go ahead and open or close this up all with one hand take this come around lock it into place I'll get that other one when we get finished very awesome Coming around here, you can see you have additional storage in here. You got a 30-gallon fuel station that comes in really handy. Just simply take this, open it up. You've got your on and off and fuel gauge. Very cool. Your dumping station as far as your black water and gray waters. The opposite side of your, uh, your axles and the pass-through storage in here. Black and gray tanks right there three slides on this side and of course every one of the slides has slide toppers so that's a really awesome upgrade to have 12 gallon hot water heater you got a 35,000 BTU furnace this is a 50 amp service double pull 110 um, you have auto level section right here and then also their convenience center everything's properly labeled and easily marked as far as winterizing dry camping, sanitizing, city water connections. I love that they put you an extra little 110 in here because if you have freezing temperatures, run your hose up, hook it in. You can hook your heated hose up to right here. Very cool. Whole house water filtration system. You can't be that. Very cool. And then of course your low, uh, low water drains. Um, you've got your bedroom and garage for cable TV or satellite inputs. Very cool on slam match baggage doors. Sweet. Opposite side right here of your 30 pound propane tank as well as your regulator in there what an awesome camper very aggressive you fit a lot of toys in there do one more final overview of course this uh has just come from grand design so we haven't run it through our 65 foot rv wash yet but this thing looks even sweeter when it's nice and cleaned up i just wanted to do this video kind of get it out there to show you that even though these things come directly from this uh, factory, they're pretty much lot ready. Grand Design does a pretty good job with that. So, all right, let's get into this a little bit further. Open this up just like so. 
this door will open up. Now this is not a friction hinge door, so you make sure whenever you do hook this up and you're opening your steps, you keep that latch on there because that uh, more right entry steps wants to be able to clear that door. And then basically all you're gonna do is just simply pull on the entry steps, they're gonna come down. This is the zero gravity feature. It's got a built-in strut. You guys can pretty much leave that just the way it is. It holds into place, it doesn't fall down. Makes it that much easier to be able to enter and exit. What an awesome setup. You also have a section right here. It's pre-drilled and tapped. If you guys wanted to, you could add the additional handlebar accessory to be able to gain entry even easier if you have bad knees or maybe you're elderly. You just want more confidence and peace of mind being able to do that. All right, coming up into here. So your first look, as you can clearly see, all the slides are closed and it is tight. You got double slides up in the front. You've got two kitchen and dinette slides and then you have an additional wardrobe slide back here in the back. So first look, it looks like that if you needed to pull over on the side of the road to use the restroom or catch some Z's, you could do that. You can still keep this all closed and still be able to accomplish that. Accomplish that. You got a nice bathroom in here and of course your queen size bed back here. Very cool. Well, let's go ahead and open this RV up. So first things first, looking right here, press the power button. I'll go ahead and just go back. I will highlight that Lippert Components does a very good job with these touch screens. However, they're very touch sensitive, and so sometimes you'll be in the process of opening a slide and it'll uh, just go wanky on you. You just gotta, it's touch sensitive. So main slide, ready, just simply press the plus button and hold it down. And try and hold it down the whole time so it doesn't time out. Sometimes if you move just a little bit, it'll come off that little sensor and then it'll stop. Very nice. Both slides operating on the same system, same button. It's hydraulic slides, very nice, quiet, very durable. And then you've got a Schwintech system up in the front. Very cool. So that's done. Very cool. Let's go ahead and press the sofa slides. Press positive. So with the Schwintec slide system, you'll hear it you know, running. You'll notice whenever the, the motor starts to wind down that that's when you need to let go of the button. And you'll hear that in here in just a second. Or you might hear it. There we go. And then uh, we're gonna do the opposite slide. Sofa slide two. And positive. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Yeah, this RV is very spacious. It's got a lot of really nice uh, updated features and amenities. I'm really excited to show off the interior on this, uh, this beautiful toy hauler. Very cool, very cool. All right, so next we need some lighting. So come over here. Simply press this, go back to your main menu. Remember, it's touch sensitive. So to go to devices, or actually go to your home. All lights, you got a feature right here, all lights off or all lights on. Or you could also go through and turn each individual light on, but I just like to press all lights on because then when you turn around, other than the, uh, the manual you know, side lights and stuff that you may have in the little tucked away areas, uh, it's already started, uh, it's lit it up. So, 18 cubic foot, residential Norcold refrigerator. You've got a nice upgrade on the Insignia four burner stove top, 3.7 cubic foot um, oven. You could fit you a turkey in there, guys. That is so cool. You also have a nice Insignia microwave. Very cool. Solid surface countertops. You've got an upgraded chef style faucet. I love an RV that has a pantry. A deep pocket pantry too. You can put you a ton of stuff in there. I think I love that a lot. I love that Grand Design's constantly taking all the little nooks and crannies and just putting a cabinet door on them because you never know. Everybody's lifestyle is different. You could find a place to store something. That is so cool. Hardwood cabinetry, hidden hinges. You got a, uh, a dinette system right here, a table and chairs with an additional leaf section to be able to have additional, uh, you know, prep space 
entertain friends and family. I like this as well, because you could put that little bench right there that came in the garage sec section, hook your laptop right there, got your little uh, pegboard, and then of course you could do a little bit of an office space right there. Um, this is that intervac system I was explaining to you. You just simply sweep all your debris up to it, kick it up, good to go, off away. Come on up into here, I love this. This is a nice uh, movie room, I guess you could say. Comes in really handy. Theater style seating by Thomas Paine. It has built in heat, massage, convenience light. They include this cool little serving tray or little workstation that you can do. Very awesome. Uh, both of the couches fold out into beds. They have a uh, nice inner flame 5000 BTU um, fireplace. I love this a lot. You do multiple speed settings. Oh, turned it off. There we go. Change the style of the flame. All that good stuff. Very cool. Um, right here, you're going to see you've got additional storage here in the front. And then, where's the TV? We look right up here. Press this button right here. TV up. And, la! Beautiful flat screen TV. It's got the Roku settings. So you've got your Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that good stuff. You've got a nice setup with the Rockford Fosgate sound system. This puppy will thump. AM, FM, Bluetooth. Um, you've got multi-zone selection, so you guys can have it on the outside and on the inside. Such a cool setup. Awesome, yeah, TCL. Nice little backlighting in there as well. You got more storage features in here. LED tap lights. You got privacy curtains to black yourself out. You got a 20% tint level, so it's easy to see out, but nobody can see in. I love it. Coming back here, We'll get this all together and wrapped up. Oh, let's do some specs. Unloaded vehicle weight rating is at 15,900 pounds. You've got a hitch weight of 3,250 pounds, a gross of 20,000. This is 41 foot one inch long, uh, 13 foot five. You have a fresh water capacity of 115 gallons. You have a gray water of 104, wastewater of 52, 12 gallon hot water heater, 30 gallon fuel tank, for your, uh, your buggies and if you wanted to tie that into your generator. Uh, 60 pounds propane tanks, 35,000 BTU furnace, and then your R values. On the main floor is R45, your garage is gonna be an R40, your walls are an R11, and your roof is an R40. And then it has an 18 foot awning on the front and a 10 foot awning on the back with the uh, LED light kit as well. Very cool, and the third AC. Coming up into here, I love that Grand Design does this. That's the real deal. Porcelain toilet. You have an Encore one-piece residential style walk-in shower. I love the one-pieces because you don't have to worry about leaks or any kind of additional seals. And if you think about it technically, with it being a 12-gallon hot water heater, you could get to the little plug right there. You could put some water in there, maybe wash the dog or let one of the kids play around and splash. And then you got a nice teak seat. Very cool. Sit down, have a shower on this updated crazy cool shower sprayer I have not seen this in operation yet but we do need to make a video just to let you all see what it looks like leave me a, a comment in the section below let me know if that's something we should do and I will definitely get on to that um, nice vanity as well as your medicine cabinet and then of course you've got right here your lights very cool max air vent fan with the built-in rain center sensor that is so cool so if you're as long as you're hooked up to power and uh, you're uh, start to rain it'll catch that sensor and that lid will automatically close coming back here you're going to see this is the opposite slide on the slide out room we simply hold this button right here go out you'll see that do that let's go ahead and hit those lights all right what a toy hauler holy moly this thing's big uh, you have additional lighting and stuff is the back in the back as well as 110 and 12 volt uh, or USB charging stations, and then of course this uh, also has another TCL flat screen TV with the Roku setting. Really awesome. Let's go outside. Uh, let's open these awnings and then I'll uh, lift up this bed, and then we'll let you guys see uh, what the difference looks like. So currently this is what it looks like in the down state. So I'll go ahead and take that note right there. Let's go outside real quick. Let's open this up. 
So of course we're an educational company. All new and used purchases here at Great Escapes RV Supercenter include a free RV training class. We include no documentation or prep fees because all of our prices are out the door, less your tax title and licensing. And we also have a uh, private campground way over there. So when the day comes for you to pick up your RV, it's parked at the campground, it's all fired up. We give you a training class. We'll hook you up with an RV starter kit with all the basic hoses and essentials to head straight to the campground. And then let you stay the night to work out all the kinks and get acclimated to your new purchase. Check that out. That is so cool. So it'll rise up. This comes in handy for transport. You can rise this up and then you guys can be able to pull your buggy in. So that jumps from 66 to 77, so giving you an extra 10 inches of uh, clearance to be able to put, you know, a buggy or something along those lines. And now that is at the fullest extension. And then let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and go inside and see what that looks like on the inside. All right. And now you can see what this looks like. Of course, now you, it's technically inaccessible whenever you have the buggy in here or any kind of additional uh, toys. But if you're on the side of the road and you've got maybe some smaller motorcycles or a four-wheeler or something that doesn't really have a roof, um, you could technically still have this in transport and uh, keep that portion down and still be able to sleep on the top of the bed. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and open up these awnings and then I will wrap this up and we will move on to our next sweet tour got this landmark that just pulled up too. You guys want to tour on that one? Let me know in the comments below. Go to home, devices, slides, awning. I do love it. I wish there was a feature where you could press both awnings to extend at the same time. Very cool. So the first uh, one that is at the top is going to be your 18 foot full span awning. I do like this quite a bit. You do have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the updated awning that has the LED running light or the LED light built into the end of this. So rather than it being on the coach side, it's actually on the end of this. And where this comes in handy is at night. It's because, yes, it does. I was making sure that wasn't incorrect. I do so many of these RV tours. And bring it back in just a little bit. You'll see the flap come down like, there open it back up now where this comes in handy is this is sweet guys so you have this light and then this light basically is a uh, of course a night light but you can pitch it to one way or the other depending on what you want the angle to be so if you're outside working on your buggy or if you guys are just hanging out with the friends and family you guys can still be able to have an ample amount of lighting and it's not tied to the side of the RV you actually have a way to pitch it and adjust it very cool you do have a pitch adjustment on this awning as well you guys can pitch it to one side or the other depending on where you want the rain to fall off but always take in mind if you guys are going on any kind of trips or anything leaving the campsite and you do have your awnings open it is recommended to keep those awnings closed because freak storms and gusts of wind unfortunately have uh, no remorse on these nice awnings and a lot of times they're not covered under warranty because it's considered a user error. Very cool. So that's all closed in. Let's go ahead and go back. And right here, rear awning. And you know what, actually, that's my mistake. I wanted to roll that in to let you all see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open them both up and just let you guys see what they both look like completely opened and at full extent and I'll get a final shot and we'll wrap this up. I really appreciate you guys' time and patience. I'm usually editing the heck out of these RVs, speeding this section up, you know, showing all of the stuff that usually people don't get to see because it's already set up. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video to kind of let you just see kind of what the, the process is to set these RVs up. And it, of course gives you guys a little bit more appreciation on what we go into to get this thing uh, showable. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this other RV or this other awning as well. Very cool. We've got RVs showing up all the time. We sell all the new and the most major brands across the United States. We do ship nationwide. Um, man, there's so many awesome perks and features, uh, benefits to be able to shop here with Great Escapes RV Supercenter. We've got all kinds of YouTube videos as well. Check out our channel. We've got new kinds of stuff coming out all the time. So this is at its fullest extension. I'll let you guys see it. Man, you could definitely entertain some friends and family out here 
with all of this shade. How awesome. Ladies and gents, this is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter. Thank you so much for your time, your patience, and the opportunity to do business together. Please like, subscribe, comment in the section below what you thought about this quick RV tour. It's about, yeah, 25 minutes. It's pretty in-depth though. It kind of covers a lot of the stuff in here, a lot of the major things. If I missed something, leave me a, sec a comment in the section below. We hope to see you guys soon. Happy camping.